So a few of these I'll do blood spatters and a few of them I'm actually gonna do like a ripping flesh design. Too much farmer there. Yeah, that's a nice nude. Pretty smooth. Gives me time to work with that. I'm gonna work from the side in. Give myself that curvature that I need. You don't work from the side in when you're using like curved tips. Any with any curved tips, it actually gets like too bulky. You lose your shape. It's very important not to lose your shape when you're using these tips. A lot of people are on the issue with the, the shape. <laughs> she says she left the brush in the cleaner overnight. Ooh. Hey, good job, Kira. I'm gonna shape my tips. Actually, I'm gonna do a little bit of issue there, but make sure I get that shape nice and crisp here. Too long? Yeah. There's no such thing as too long. A lot of people like long nails. Mm. It's not for you, it's not for you. You know? What size brush Some people, are you using? I'm using my 16. I feel like I can pick up a bigger beast. I'm using a long nail. I, technically, this, this set, I can probably use a 10 or a you 12. Not the first time you used a 10. Yeah, the first time I used a 10 for this, this set, even longer. So, 16 this time around. <laughs> I think so too. She said they're perfect. Hey, people have different preferences. <laughs> not everybody can wear long nails. Come on, let's be honest, guys. It's not so you for everybody. Tried it for a day. How did I it tried go? it for a day. <laughs> I can't do it. So, that's me. Some people can wear it like it's normal. They can't wear nails without them being long like this. Mm -hmm. I feel like a child. So this is a good enough apex for me that I'm wearing like that. Just a nice structure. This one's important because I'm reusing really using my X-Acto knife to create these like cut marks. So I gotta be really quick with it. Um, I don't want to dry it before I do it. So I'm gonna try to get this in really quick. A big bead. Probably one bead, hopefully. I need this bead to be kind of semi-white, uh, dry before I cut it into it. Give it like these uh, kind of like claw marks, rip marks. Ooh, I didn't have enough powder. It's okay. I'll put some on the tip later. You almost did. My important thing is this right here. Use some kind of straight edge. Well, 
What sort of course do you recommend to use? For what? That was the question. Yeah, just... That depends on what you're using it for, or how long you've been doing nails, or what are you currently using. I really I get that question a lot, and honestly, based on like um some of the the questions, you gotta really reflect on like what you're using it for and and like how long you've been doing it and what do you start out with too, because I think everybody's different. I can tell you I can tell you my preference, but it wouldn't be for your preference. That's why I like to ask them like what they use it for, what length of nails they're using, because I'm not gonna put you in the situation where you're gonna be, you know. Oh, you said so you use the brush that is according to the nail size length. No, it depends on what job I'm doing. Like you say, like sometimes you be working on long nails, but your client maybe have small nail beds. So there's no point in using a big thick brush compared to if um you're, you're using like a if your client is have a thick nail bed, you use a bigger brush. But sometimes the bigger brush kind of hinders you a little bit. I feel like it hinders me because like if I pick up to be this big and the client has a small nail bed, it's like really no point. All right? I never did that long. Is it hard to control it since it's long nails? Nope. Actually, control is actually easier with long nails and it's harder with short nails. Um, people are under this impression that long nails is uh, harder. That's why a lot of people start with long nails and they can't do short nails because Short nails require you to control how much powder you bring up because it's a smaller surface area. Long nails, as you can see, I can have time to bring the powder through, you know? It says I'm currently using a size eight brush. No, nope, eight's too it. small, way <laughs> too years. small. There's no way you're, you're using an eight brush. Eight brushes are way too small. They give you that stuff during like school or like, I don't know who was using eight. It's just way too small for you to pick up a bead. And it doesn't give you enough um, brush to control your powder control and all this a lot of stuff I really I really think an eight brush is way too small for any type of nails a 10 and 10 is probably what you want to start off with eight is way too small I wouldn't I think for three years yeah your go-to is an eight a ten I used to do use a ten for the like ever yeah that was your go-to like there's one point time when I was like using a tent to show people how it's done and I just got addicted to it and I just used it in every set I possibly could. <laughs> she said she feels short nails are harder. It is harder because a lot of nail techs nowadays, they start out with long nails so that they, they kind of get um, like, you know, a little bit of a freebie because they have a lot more surface area to move the powder and yada, yada, yada and such. Mm, the control. The control. And then now when they go to short nails, when they have to actually control their ratio and how much powder and how, how much product they bring up, it's a little bit harder for you guys to downsize what you've been using. And I get it. Been there, done that. Trust me. Trust me on that. I've been there. I've been. I've done that. I'm doing my nail course. I'm getting difficult doing shapes and picking up. Um, having a difficult time doing shaping. Shaping is always the biggest issue for a lot. Pretty much everybody in this industry run, struggles with shaping. That's normal. If you're struggling with shaping, that's, that's a normal thing to, to run into. Trust me. You don't start out this industry doing perfect shaping. It takes time. So a lot of you guys and use the hand file to shape. You forget to shape with the acrylic. I shape with my acrylic brush. Get all that job done early, ahead of time. What happened to the squad? What length is this? You just mentioned the squad, Jesus. <laughs> this is an XL. It's a full XL tip length. I got, I got through with a size eight brush. I've stuck with it. You got what? She got through um, school and everything with a size eight. Yeah, I mean, because in, in school, like they don't really show you a lot of stuff, so you can you can go with you can get away with eight brush easily. Right, I mean, this is a sixteen brush, right? Yeah, this is a sixteen. It just gives me a bigger body so that I can work the powder down the nails a little bit quicker if I need to. See, I'm shaping my brush right here, getting that nice and crisp shaping. I 
missing powder that I put up here. That's the thing of one beading. You can do a one bead, but then you have to make sure you get the structure down. So later I'm going to do blood drips and stuff in, in these claw marks. If a lot of you guys are Don't make it too even. Plus you can't you can't cut into these until you're And no, I don't think it really takes away from the durability to be honest with you because it's just minor minor claw marks. Careful. What? Feel like you about to cut your finger. I love watching your live. Thank you for always sharing tips. You're welcome. I'm gonna open up this wound here a little bit. Sometimes you wanna do a little bit thicker here so that you can cut into it. So I'm just opening it up a little bit so it almost looks like I got a deep, a deep wound, a little depth there. I don't know if you guys see that or not. Yeah. She said I was taught with a 14 and I love that size. Yeah. Just ordered a 10 going to see what's that like well my, my my brushes are crimped so they're a little bit different from like your regular i don't know if you guys use crimp brushes or not that's, that's complete, completely different um i use a crimp brush and it's a little bit different Pressing buttons. No. To class, I'm buying it. Oh, she's saying bring it to class. She wants to buy tips at your class. I will bring some, not everything. Um, I'm not gonna bring. A, I can't pack everything for students. Depending on what class you're going, you're going to. If it's the salon ready class, then yeah, I'll have some tips there. But um, generally, for the nail art class in Chicago, you don't need it. Zoom in a little closer. Zoom in a little closer. What are you talking about? It's like zoomed in. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's zoomed in. It's pretty zoomed. Zoom out. <laughs> I'll zoom out. I was like, are you? They sure they wanted to zoom closer? Yeah, that's the thing. Yes, when I'm in your state, you gotta take advantage of it because I go on tour, so I don't really come back until like I finish my tour. So that's why a lot of people are like, if I'm close, you gotta take advantage of that. You don't know when I'm gonna come back around the area. So fortunately, got some powder in here. This thumb finger is so big. So this will be the set, and then later I will add all the design details to it. So a set like this you can get done in less than 30 minutes, fairly easy. Technically, I think a 10 brush would be actually better for me with this set, because it's, it's, it's such a long, thin... Are you 
soon. I'll make my, my way west coast next year. All my classes right now are locked until next year, so I can't make my way out. to just sculpt these shaping right here now. I don't want to use the hand file too much, to be honest with you. One client of mine oh out of 31 clients is having problems with the gel polish chipping within a day and I'm guessing that she's I'm doing something wrong. No, you probably just cured him properly for that client. It's securing. You might just cure wrong with the machine may have been low on battery. I mean, you just said one out of 30, so you might have been low on battery. Sometimes the machine would be low on battery and you guys it will still turn on and cure, but it won't be as strong. So keep in mind for that, guys. Okay? Will you ever come to Pittsburgh? I already did Philly. Pittsburgh? No, I haven't been to Pittsburgh. But I already got my Philly, because I want to do 50 states, so I already got Philly either way, so I won't be back into there for a while there. What should we do one else? <laughs> I said that way direction. This thing fast. Technically, no, you don't want putting the car from the side. No, there. Yeah. I'm using is plugged in one, so I'm not really sure whether is she doing something. To them. No, they could just be. Maybe she didn't position the hand right inside and didn't cure properly. You never know. Rushing in and out. What about Alabama? No plans yet, guys. Well, I mean, you're in. Atlanta or something close. Sometimes we go to Atlanta. I'm still trying to figure out this design class. Um, we're going to be doing our first master class design class with Tino and Vina coming up here. Once that is done and we can figure out how to structure that really well, I mean, like just giving it a test run, we might be able to do more and more of the design classes. There's a lot of people that are actually just looking for designs. There's a lot of no techs that are like at a level where they're looking for designs only. So they want to spend two days and just teach advanced designs. It's just certain certain designs we can't teach in like a regular beginner or beginner friendly class because they're just not ready for it but there are some students that are ready or some techs that are ready for the advanced designs and they want two days of designs so we got that's why i kind of split up my classes with a salon ready be more uh, acrylic focus and the master class be more design focus it gives people the option you know How about Ohio? just left cincinnati Thank you, Melda. It's been giving me anxiety for days thinking I'm doing something wrong. Well, yeah. I mean, you guys gotta just just figure out, like, just just look. When when something stuff like that, when something like that happens, you really you literally can just break it down and see um, what you're doing wrong or what the pro issue is. Just troubleshoot it. Most of the time, most of these issues that you have with the polish key or something like that, it's troubleshootable. You know, it's mm -hmm. not. It's not that crazy, just don't, you know. Um, what color nudes were you recommending yesterday? Nudes? Yeah, she says John buying some 
Did I recommend, did I recommend something yesterday? I guess so, something like that. Yeah. Uh, Marcel? Marisol? Yeah, Marisol. For tomorrow. Oh. You forgot? News tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Oh, she wants to go to tomorrow. Um, if you go to Chisel, I would recommend 170, 172, 169. Um, Napolis has some good nudes too. Second nude, Peaky nude, um, Nude Panther is probably their like flagship nude. But I don't know if you can find that where you're at, but. What brand powder are you using? This one right now I'm using is Wave Gel. It works really well with my monomer. Very, as you can see, like it's not that runny, but I can, I can still move it when I need it to move. She said, "Thank you." We just got some really like nice pigment powder, and it it really, just, kind of, doesn't. I would say like run. It kind of stays like a medium consistency, and it only moves when you want to move it. Two, my nails lift. Am I not? Your cuticle work. Feeling enough? No. You, after after a week or two, now you gotta really understand. Is it a week or two? There's difference in seven days. <laughs> UK says they think you should be coming to the UK. Like still... a week or two is like a, there's a difference between a week and two weeks because it's completely seventy days. You guys remember nails do lift. It's part of the wear and tear. I mean, if you have enough issues, 99% of the time it's your cuticle work. If that's like within the first couple of days or something like that, just your cuticle work for sure. Um, if you have any issues with that, you just gotta work, focus on your cuticle work a little bit more. Um, it says, so still new in the nail industry, what type of brush should I buy and which number? <sighs> what was that? Mmm, sounds familiar. Is it? Right, Bob. If you're if you're looking to buy a brush, I, I I recommend like trying a few different brands. I'm not gonna tell you to jump into my brush right away because I want you to see the difference. So like, try to get some brands off of Amazon if, that you can afford, and just try it out first. And if you feel like you like it, then go for it but if you want to try a different brand and try mine and then you can do comparison i was like i was like giving nail tax the ability to do comparisons like you can't just tell them to do go with one thing you know you have to actually know that's better or have a comparison you know even for me whenever i buy anything i want a comparison oh someone really appreciates you and all the things you share tips you share because maybe for you maybe different from me so I want you to get like a, a comparison at least. But honestly, if you really, really want to just save money, just try one of my brushes because <laughs> you know, you'll like it. But like I said, you should have at least one brush. If you're in this nail industry, you, you probably you, you should have at least one brush available to you. You're going to run through two different brushes. You're going to find brushes that are going to be like $10, $15. Um, and then you're going to find brushes that are going to be like, uh, you know, $40 to $35. And then you'll know the difference between those two already.
struggling with this corner a little bit. I have so much stuff coming. Yes, yeah, probably gonna be blown away with what I'm what I'm trying to accomplish in this industry. <laughs> so, is it really necessary to blend the top to the natural? Yeah. What do you mean? I guess when she's flushing at the tip. Oh, she messed up. So, is it? Isn't it really necessary? Is it really necessary to blend the tip to the natural nail? Uh, the only time you're doing that, if you, it, just so that you can have like more surface area for you to have acrylic to bond. So I mean, if you, if you have like a really small nail bed, I would recommend blending it so they can you can have more and more nail bed exposed so you can bond it onto there. Um, necessarily, no, not necessary. So she has a big nail bed, if you can see. I really don't need to blend. Plus, we just had to soak off, so I don't want to really drill into her nail beds that much. She said, I'm in South Africa, so where can I get your... You can't. Um, I don't ship internationally, I'm sorry. My nose shot being so slow. <laughs> um, pedicures. You want them to be slow on pedicures. It means they're taking time with your feet. Yeah. You don't want them rushing with your pedicures. Oh, for brand. Internationals in this live. Hey, I know. someone must have shared from an international page or something, or have a lot. All my international people are up, um, up, say, up at this time. Everybody. Sunday. <laughs> they alert, alert. The Lord's Day. Gotta be careful. I have to like excess powder in here. Pedicures is not good. Are you shipping? Oh no, no international shipping. She wanted to know if you were shipping in France. No. You guys kind of. I don't understand. Like I, that's why I always say like um, a lot of European countries are behind on nail products. They don't have stuff like us here in the United States. So you guys are blessed to have all these companies here in the United States. To be honest with you. In access, access. Access like yeah. South Africa and all those countries. They don't have it. They have like the old school Tammy Taylor stuff still. Probably. There's nothing wrong I with that. I thought it would be quicker over there on that side. Cause of no, 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 no. They're way behind in the acrylics. They still mm -hmm. stay with the um, builder gel and stuff. Mm. She said, I can't, that acrylic is not butter. It's what? Not butter.